in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create this 3d cube for options infographic slide in powerpoint as you can see here i've added four uh, triangles and clubbed them together as a, a cube and then i put option one two three four with different color combinations and then i've just added the icon you can add the title in the detailed text and this is for the option two option three and option four and then i have added the shadow effect also at the front and a small shadow effect at the back so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect square shape and how much size you need you can just decide that much and later on also you can increase or decrease and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to align center align middle you can see here then i'm going to cut into four uh, pieces uh, which will be in the shape of a triangle for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw small rectangle maybe this much you can see here the height and width shape outline make it no outline and shape will give some different color combination you can see here and I'm just going to right mouse click, go to format shape and increase the transparency effect. So exactly we know how much we need to cut it. And then you can rotate it either with the help of this one you can see here or you can use the alt key also, alt and right mouse key that also can be done. So exactly you need to put it in the center and make sure that this is properly aligned. You can see here this is exactly it has to be in the center. You can see this has come perfectly. Now I'm going to add the other side also press ctrl D you can see here and then just tilt it the other side you can see here something like this and you have to just make sure that this is properly aligned all right I think this is done now what I'm going to do I'm going to select all by pressing ctrl A then go to format under merge shape and again merge shape is not available in 2007 and it is not there in 2010 and in 2010 you need to enable it but fragment option it is not there so fragment uh, this one will not work in 2007 or 2010 version so let me just click on the fragment you can see here and then i'm just going to delete all this one unwanted you can see here i can just select simple like this let me just highlight it you can see here and here also in the center also highlight delete and this also I'm deleting so you can see here we got this uh, four triangle shape and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select each one and give a different color combination so I can just go and give maybe a blue here this one I can give some gray color this one i can give some uh, some different color and here also i can give some different color combination maybe i can give maybe orange say and again make sure that this is all transparent removed i'm going to group this you can see here and i'm going to sorry let me just select one by one and under fill you can see here remove the transparency so it looks something like this now the design is okay i'm just going to reduce the size all right and then you can go to effects and under 3d you can see here 3d rotation i'm going to select which is this one under perspective you can see here turn right so it looks something like this and then go to 3d format and you can see here uh, there's something called depth maybe i can give 100 or i can give maybe 120 depending on my requirement all right so once this is done you can come to the contour and you can give this uh, a white you can see here uh, the lines there and then you can just play with these options under the 3d rotation you can see here how much i want to move this side you can see here uh, I want something like this or whichever way you want you can see here I can just play it so a lot of different different things are there so you can just need to just 
put it in the right place you can see here maybe I can just select this one and I'm just going to put this one here because the size here is a very big because we have used the fragment we should have done uh, separately then you know the size will not be this much big but anyways so it doesn't matter let me just zoom out you can see here I'll bring it somewhat down and again if you want increase the size or decrease the size again you can do this one and then uh, I'm going to add the background let me just remove the guides go to insert shapes I'm going to select the oval uh, sorry the rectangle draw the rectangle this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill again any light color you can choose and then I'm going to right mouse click edit point can you see here this point I'm just going to drag it up you can see here till this much and make sure it's straight line and then send this to back so it looks something like this now I want to add one shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape something like this shape outline make it no outline and then I'm going to use the gradient gradient I'm going to use a two stops the one stop I'm going to select the black color and the type select linear and direction you just make sure that the black is the left side you can see here and this one I'm going to select the background of this you can see here and make it fully transparent and go to effects you can just scroll up you can see soft edges increase the size and then just put it here and then just send this to back so you can see here the shadow effect has been created and again if you want you can add one more small shadow effect at the back also now I'm going to add one more rectangle for the background you can see here select this something like this or you can cover the whole slide also not a problem shape outline make it no outline and just send this to back and this also I'm going to give a gradient fill now gradient fill I'm going to select the type as radial direction I'm going to select this let me just move the other side and I'm going to change the color instead of black I can use some dark color combination or any other color combination you can choose from and this could be some lighter color so something like this also you can make it all right so this one you can go for more darker color also whichever color you feel best you can just choose the color from so you can see here this is done and if you want to add one more shadow as I said you can just add one more shadow at the back because of my initial design issue which happened uh, through the fragment I could not able to add the numbers here so I can go to insert text box and then I have to add the numbers separately something like this you can see here just make it bold increase the size you can see here maybe 44 or uh, maybe lesser than that center align and then you need to go to text options you can see your text options go to text effects and then here also you can just go and just select the correct one whichever it's fitting here so you can see here maybe this is not fitting maybe I can just select maybe this so something like this I have to add it manually because of the design issue so this is the number two and again this also has to be corrected you can see here something maybe we can use this one like this we can add it then this one will be three and this will be four or if you want you can add outside also not a problem now once this is added what you can do is go to insert you can see here shapes select the this one which is the freeform shape and then I'm just going to add a line like this and then shape outline give some light color and you can increase the transparency also like this I'm just going to add four lines so this is for this and here I'm going to add the other point the same then again go to insert shapes select this one this one I'm going to add here again the same color and the last one I'm going to add here you can see here 
and again give the same color now once you have done this one go to insert if you are using the latest version you can add the icons you can just randomly select any four icons or basically depending on your requirement and i'm going to make it white and the height and width make it 0.5 you can see here then just add one by one you can see here i'm just adding these icons if you don't have the icons then you cannot add it you can just ignore this step then go to insert text box you can add your details here again this is also white font you can just add the details this is right aligned press ctrl d you can see here this would be left aligned again ctrl d this also here so you can see here our basic design is ready and if you want to do some small animation also you can do the animation but the problem is the moment you try to ungroup this one what will happen you see here it all becomes something like this so you cannot add the animation uh, as a different object one by one you cannot do you have to do it for full group